video begins a series of introductory tutorials for Autodesk Maya 2016. In this video I'm going to start with the very basics of the interface uh, so you can get started. So if you have no experience with Maya this may be a good place to start. When I'm looking at the interface when you install and look at Maya you get something that looks like this. It may vary a little but don't worry about that right now. And In this video I want to tell you about the very top bar. Quickly a few items about that. This is your main menu bar. It's common in most programs. You've seen it before but something unique about Maya is it has a second little drop down below that which is a menu set menu and that uh, has different categories and those categories will actually change the menus you see in your menu bar. Now the first couple are, are constant no matter uh, you know what set you're in but there's so many different things in Maya that they, they kind of organize it like this which I think works. Um, so if you're in the modeling you'll see the modeling. If you're in effects you'll see uh, different menus for effects. Um, so within these uh, menus uh, you'll notice a few things. Uh, one of those you'll, you'll notice shortcut keys you'll also see a little box that means that this will open a panel where you can edit information if I, if I see that it opens up a window where I can change some value like a form or a, a, a window so th those are option boxes whenever you're using a tool or uh, something that um, usually this performs some action if you don't click the option box and you just click the word it'll perform that action uh, from the default value or from the value that you used the last time you used that tool. So that's important to remember. So if I were, uh, I'm not going to get into the specifics of any particular tool, but know that uh, often it's just a good, uh, good practice to go in here uh, and in your window, whatever it is, uh, go to edit and reset your settings. Um, and I won't go over that much later, but. Uh, another thing you'll see is this double bar here in these drop down uh, menus and uh, that just allows you to tear off so you can kind of have a floating window while you're doing something and, if I, and it just makes it more accessible uh, and if you and you also know uh, you know the triangles are going to bring up more um, and we've already talked about shortcut keys so uh, in addition to that, they're just, we're not going to get into any of the specifics, but they, they contain actions, they contain tools, windows, and the like. Uh, the last thing I want to show you is in the, or two things actually, in the help menu. First is the find menu. I find this, I find the find menu very uh, useful. So, because there are so many things in my, you know, in so many different areas if you're looking for something it can be hard to find so if you know I'm looking for you know how do I create a sphere and if I hit enter it's going to give me the path in the menu set how to get there um, so if I go to create uh, there's a couple different types of spheres spheres but uh, there, there we go um, if I am looking for something that's going to be deep within these sub menus that are specific uh, to the menu set for example let's do a bind skin you'll notice it'll tell you in these brackets square brackets you know where okay in rigging and that's where I'll find the skin bind skin this is also useful because in these tutorials sometimes I'll mention something if you're working in a different version of Maya sometimes the menus might be in other places you know you never know where they might how they might change the program over time so uh, it's a good place to look in case they've changed where they, they put a particular feature okay and I will make a note about Autodesk help to wrap this up great online resource you know when you're just beginning some of it can be pretty confusing and uh, but you know lots of things it has a section on basics uh, if I go back, I, there's even a place of the interface, like what we're talking about. And it, you know, it talks about your menu sets and menus. Good place to go when you need help. And there are tons of 
people like me who share stuff on YouTube as well to help get you started. So uh, a lot of resources out there. There's even you know really high quality professional paid resources through uh, Digital Tutors or Nomon or there, there's several out there uh, that I could name. But uh, well, that's it for this tutorial. In the next one, we're going to continue with the interface and take a look at the shelves and some of these other. Uh, icons up here and I'll uh, see you then. <laughs>